Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, so today we're going to be making a pumpkin patch trifle or individual trifles. Whatever you like, it can be either. Um, but this recipe is actually um, a handy way of using up cake that you may have made. So this is one of my most favorite cake recipes. It is, um, again, the chocolate pumpkin cake. And it is layered with homemade pumpkin pudding, which we're gonna be making in this video, as well as freshly whipped cream. And it's topped with a pumpkin cake pop, which are so good, oh my god. Um, I think my boyfriend ate them for breakfast. He's like obsessed with them. So uh, they do come recommended. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are so much fun. And if you're looking for a cute thing to make for Thanksgiving, I think these are perfect. So let's get started. Okay, so first we're gonna make the pumpkin pudding. What you wanna do is whisk together some eggs and milk in a bowl and set it aside. Then place some sugar and cornstarch in a pan and set it to medium heat. Slowly add the egg mixture while whisking constantly. Then bring the liquid to a boil and boil for one minute, whisking constantly. You want to keep whisking so it doesn't create lumps. Then remove the pot from the heat and in a separate bowl, combine some pumpkin puree, vanilla extract, cinnamon, salt, and nutmeg. And slowly add this to the pot, whisking well until everything is fully combined. Then return the pan to the stove and set it to low heat and cook for about three to four minutes or until everything is warm. And you want to remember to keep stirring. Then remove the pot from the heat again and strain it through a mesh sieve into a bowl. And this is going to catch any extra little like, pieces that have, or like little chunks because you want it to be smooth. But this is like a little safety net. If it is a little chunky, you don't have to worry. Then press a sheet of plastic wrap onto the surface of the pudding and place it in the fridge until chilled and thickened. Then to assemble your trifle, in the type recipe I typed it as if you're making one trifle and then I realized as I was filming it that I don't have a trifle dish. So um, I divided it and two tall glasses. I think that this would fit like five tall glasses or like one regular trifle dish. So it's totally up to you. If you have a bunch of people coming over, you could like even make them in smaller dishes and just do like two layers. Um, that could work too. So it's really flexible depending on what you need. So you want to scatter some cake crumbs into the base of the trifle dishes, then spoon some pudding on top, and you can also pop this into a piping bag along with the whipped cream that we're going to be using um, to make it a lot easier to pour into the bowls then top with some more cake, then some whipped cream, then more cake, pudding, okay, and finally whipped cream. And so when you're layering, um, the reason why we're using the piping bags is because it allows you to push everything to the sides of the glass because that is the most important part. You want it to be able to look pretty when you're looking at it from the outside. If your glasses aren't clear, then you don't have to worry about it, but since they are, at least ones I'm using and most trifle dishes are, um, Put most of your effort into making sure everything looks nice and even at the edges and then just like fill in the rest in the middle. Then you want to top with some leftover cake crumbs and then some little pumpkin cake pops. If you want the recipe for those, they will be linked in the cards. And you are done! So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you like this recipe. Um, if you have any requests for Thanksgiving recipes, please leave them in the comments down below, like quickly. <laughs> um, I've scheduled out. November's videos, but if there's anything like specifically that you want to see how to make, let me know and I can do that. Um, otherwise, we are just ramping up for Cookmas, which I'm so excited to do. So yeah, oh my god, I can't wait. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so much. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so much, and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.